XMM Newton is the largest space observatory ever launched by the European Space Agency. Its name stems from the design of its 170 cylindrical X-ray multi-mirrors, wafer-thin, gold-coated, nested in each other and making up the telescope's three eyes. Their combined X-ray collecting power has, these last ten years, provided the observatory's five X-ray instruments with a steady stream of data, allowing scientists to make numerous discoveries in all fields of astronomy. On a clear night, we can see thousands of celestial objects near and far. Our own Milky Way is ablaze with lights. Yet occulted by the Earth's atmosphere, thousands of hidden X-ray emitting sources are revealed by XMM Newton. Their X-rays are produced in extreme conditions and often by dramatic events. ESA's observatory has excelled in studying the environment of black holes, present even at the centre of the Milky Way. They can drive the evolution of massive galaxies and even of galaxy clusters, the largest structures in space, as ESA's observatory has discovered. In this cluster, the central galaxy is surrounded by an X-ray cloud of hot gas, a dark matter halo that is 3 million light-years across. Temperatures there can reach 50 million degrees. XMM Newton has helped constrain the theories about this mysterious dark matter, believed to outweigh ordinary matter by 5 to 1. With its mission prolonged to 2012, XMM Newton will now be working hand in hand with ESA's Herschel Infrared Space Observatory, unveiling the mysteries of star formation. Astrophysicists have observed regions of star nurseries where X-ray emission, seen here in blue in this view of a cluster in the small Magellanic Cloud, modifies the chemistry and composition and stimulates the accretion processes. ESA's mission has studied the heavy chemical elements dispersed by stars at the end of their existence when they explode as a supernova. This one, shown circled in an image of the spiral galaxy M100, was taken by the observatory's optical monitor. And the MOSS X-ray camera has finally analysed the orange spot appearance. Comparable data collected six years earlier by ROSAT, one of XMM Newton's predecessors, revealed that the supernova has not dimmed as expected. XMM Newton and Chandra, its counterpart NASA mission, have also both detected the traces of the oldest recorded supernova, SN185, an explosion observed 2,000 years ago by Chinese astronomers. But today, and closer to home, the European Space Observatory has contributed to our understanding of the solar system, revealing, for instance, the influence of the solar wind interacting with Jupiter's magnetosphere. It has shown that the Martian atmosphere is much larger than previously thought, and it has confirmed that icy comets give off X-rays. The Space Observatory has celebrated its first decade in space, and the spacecraft and instruments could well last for another. Astronomers' requests to use it amount to seven times the available observation time. For those who designed the satellite and who built its X-ray detectors, and those who control the spacecraft and its science operations, XMM-Newton continues to be a jewel of space astronomy.